Hey everyone, welcome back to the Godot tutorial, the top-down shooter that we're doing in 3D and we're creating it in Blender and Godot. In this video, which I think is about part six, we are going to be creating the door controller. So if you remember, um, I've actually added in the door in between two rooms here. And if I hit play currently, I've got, I had an error there. Uh, currently I can't go between the door, I can't move that way. And we're gonna make it so the door automatically opens when the player approaches. Now if I open up the door uh, prefab or the door scene, you'll see we had those floor panels, we had the door blocker, so that's why we can't move through it. Um, and we had the uh, area which was going to be, and we also had the door mesh, of course, with the animation controller on it. So let's go ahead and add a new script to this door here. And I'm gonna call it door control. Uh, I think it's important to name it what it does rather than the default. Um, it's not very useful. Also, for if you're doing the programming standards, naming conventions are really important, especially at level, well, at all levels, one, two, and three. If you even want to get achieved, you kind of have to follow those naming conventions. So let's go ahead and in here, we're going to, um, we're going to go ahead and add in Oh, we need to go ahead and look at the area and get a signal. Uh, signals are really cool. And you may not have used signals for a while, especially if you've done any stuff um, in anything like Game Maker or any other programming language, uh, except for Scratch. The only thing that I can think of in terms of what this uses here, uh, or what's similar to a signal is the Scratch with a send message. Um, it's a little bit different, and I suppose like event-driven stuff is like a signal here. But what we want to do is we want to say uh, on body entered, and we want to hook that up with that script there. And we're also going to go back and get the node uh, on body exited. So when a body exits, so when, when it says body, it's talking about a physics body, and we want to check which physics body enters this. So if body dot name equals player. Then what we're going to do, and this is on this script here, if body.name equals player, we're going to disable the door blocker. So door, door blocker collision shape dot disabled equals true. And we're also going to play the animation. Door one with animation, animation player dot play and open door. Now we're going to do the exact opposite here with the uh, body exited. So if body dot name equals player door blocker collision shape dot disabled equals false and door one with animation dot player dot play well, close the door. Now, I probably should have named this not door one, but um, I actually, yeah, I do need to name it door one with animation, which means multiple doors, I'm going to have to have multiple scripts on it. But I could, I could, I guess, search for a node that has an animation player in it and do that. For now, I'm just going to have it done this way. And it's pretty straightforward. This should work. I should be able to approach the door now. And as I get within that area, you'll see the door opens and then it closes when I leave. So it's quite cool. Um, my player is probably moving a bit fast and can clip through the door if I'm fast enough. And there is a bug here. If I leave the door, leave that, it starts to play the close animation, but it doesn't smoothly do it. Uh, there may be a better way to do that, such as to play the, um, door open animation in reverse or reverse the animation that's currently playing. Um, but for the most part, that works pretty well. I could probably slow my player down a little bit, to be honest, he is pretty quick. Uh, so if I go back to the test level and I click on player, you'll see over here, I've got uh, this here, uh, max speed, I'll change that to maybe five is probably too much. Seven will be okay, and that's a bit better. And we're done. Remember if I hold down shift, I get that camera shake effect. Um, 
and what I don't get is what I was getting in the intro because the sides of this actually have a face on it and so they are blocking that light that's going to come through there. Okay, The line of sight works well and it looks pretty cool when the door opens and you, you see what's coming through there. Um, I think it's looking pretty sweet.